Uh, good evening, viewers. Um, this is uh, Alan Shastny, the political leader of the United Workers' Party. And we have made a commitment to the agricultural sector of St. Lucia. And specifically, we've been talking about bringing back banana production to at least 50 to 60,000 tons a year. Right now, we're 8,000 tons. Uh, this Minister of Agriculture and this government have been a dismal failure to the farmers of this country. And the impact is being felt throughout this country because everybody knows that agriculture and particular bananas have been the backbone of the rural areas of St. Lucia. And we are committed to bringing life back to the rural areas. And we know that bananas still have life. With me today is the president of the Banana Cooperative for Martinique and Guadeloupe. And collectively, they are producing over 260,000 tons a year, depending on weather conditions, um, and that they're exporting this product under their own brand to France and will be also exporting to the rest of Europe. And because of St. Lucia's designation as an ACP country, there lies a tremendous opportunity for synergy. We have been in discussions with Eric, who is here with me today, who is the president of the cooperative, in talking about how we can forge a relationship to the mutual benefit of his cooperative and taking advantage of his expertise for many years. Uh, so Eric, it's very nice to have you here today. Thank you. Um, and maybe you can explain to the viewers a little bit about your cooperative and how it works and how long you've been in existence. Well, the, our cooperative uh, exists uh, since uh, many years, and uh, we have an uh, organization uh, which belongs to the producers of uh, Guadeloupe and Martinique. Uh, this belongs totally to them, uh, and uh, we uh, organize ourselves uh, the production of uh, bananas of the two islands uh, from the, the, the growing uh, to the to the marketing uh, to the door of the supermarkets in France and in Europe, we also own our uh, uh, ripening or, uh, uh, organization, which is very important. The the logistic is uh, the the maritime logistic is made with uh, very. Uh, uh, modern uh, ships which belong to the CGM CMA, the, the big French uh, uh, transporter. And um, since the past, uh, I will say, 15 years, we have been uh, very, uh, very dynamic and, and uh, very, uh, I could say, uh, very successful in the marketing of our production which is uh, now known on the French and the European market as the only French banana in the world. Because Martinique and Guadeloupe are the only islands, French islands in the world which are producing bananas. So, so our, uh, our uh, message uh, is uh, the, 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 the bananas of Guadeloupe and Martinique, the only French bananas in the world. And uh, it's, this works very well with the, with the European consumers. I believe because the European market have been growing a lot in the past years, in, in, in this year, uh, 2016, the European market will consume more than 6 million tons of bananas. And I believe that uh, there is a very good space, a very good uh, opportunity uh, for the Windward Islands to, to come back in production. Uh, and if, if St. Lucia was deciding of, of to, to, to produce 50 or 60,000 tons of bananas in the next few years, it will not be difficult uh, for the farmers of St. Lucia uh, to sell this production on the European market. And also, uh, we, uh, the producers of uh, Guadeloupe of Martinique, uh, we will be uh, 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 very delighted and uh, it will be, uh, for me, 
it is a, it will be a normal Caribbean cooperation uh, to bring our know-how, our savoir-faire uh, to the to the producers of, of this island, and of course to help them to uh, to organize a cooperative system, which would be on the model of what we are doing today in Martinique and Guadeloupe. In Martinique and Guadeloupe, the, the, the farmer owns his production to the end of the chain. Uh, so, and everything is very transparent. So he knows exactly what is happening to his food and also, and also from, from the cooperative system which we have uh, uh, organized with all the farmers together, uh, the farmer get a very, a very strong technical assistance and also he gets assistance for the inputs. Uh, so uh, this, this, this is something, this is an experience uh, which we have and, uh, and which, we, which we can bring to, to the farmers of St. Lucia if they want to. Well, I was very interested in that um, you're seeing then an expansion of the market in Europe. Yes. And it's the ability to be able to get more production. Yes. And what I was very interested in is, is that you have your own brand. And I, and I, exactly, we have our own brand. And, and, and I think that if St. Lucia is coming back in production, St. Lucia will have to have his own brand and to, and to market the, the production under the name Banana coming St. Lucia Bananas to have a, a strong identity of the of the production because something interesting uh, the, the European market 6 million tons a large part of that is uh, what we call dollar bananas coming from Ecuador Colombia Costa Rica etc but this is not this is not what what the European consumer prefer every time the European consumer can find bananas coming from uh, uh, places like Dominican Republic or uh, from uh, some countries in Africa uh, from small productions uh, fair trade productions uh, they, are, they are ready to pay a little more for that and they are, they, they are more interested in buying this type of product so for me uh, the, the St. Lucia uh, uh, a good quality St. Lucia banana, strongly in identified as coming from St. Lucia as a fair trade production, will have a large space on the European market. You know, when I was the Minister of Tourism, what we did is we changed the logo of the St. Lucia Tourist Board and developed a new logo which has the, the flag of St. Lucia waving as if it's the pitons. So that in tourism, that in agriculture, that anything that we do, that we're promoting that singular image of St. Lucia. And I see very strong branding in your own group. Exactly. So in terms of moving forward, one of the things that we discussed was how the structure could potentially be. Whether it would be that we would just sell the bananas to your organization and you would manage and market it, or whether we would open up a joint corporative, a joint venture here in St. Lucia and benefit from your existence. And what we've also spoken about is resources being made available to help the banana growers to be able to get inputs. Um, we would be assisting with irrigation and that we would then reclaim back some of those monies when we're selling the bananas. So, exactly. So that we could maybe put a little premium on the, the, the banana. Right now, we're selling uh, boxes of banana for about $25, $26 a box. We're talking about the possibility of being able to increase that um, and that we would then have the ability of having a consistent market for the bananas. Exactly. The way you, you, you say it is a good way. Uh, I think that the St. Lucia farmers have to keep the control of their production. Uh, uh, what we can do is to come with them in a, in a joint venture uh, in which they will be the boss. Uh, and uh, we will we will bring the assistance, we will bring the, the the marketing and the commercial organization in France and in Europe, 
uh, but the, the farmers will have to keep the control of their production. This is what I, this, I think this is very important. And this is, the, the, I would say, the culture we have in our co cooperative. Uh, the farmer is the boss. Well, I want to thank you very much for the opportunity. And I wanted to give you the assurances that if the United Workers' Party forms the government on Monday, which I think that we will, we're going to be very much looking forward to working with you and supporting you um, because we want to see our banana production back up. We know that bananas have distributed money into our rural areas. And a lot of young men are looking forward to being able to regain the days that we used to be there before. And I can give you the assurance of both our policy commitment, our, fi our financial commitment, but more importantly, our energy to be able to make this work to our mutual benefit. And I just want to thank you very, very much for having the discussion and also uh, for the encouragement that you have given me and to St. Lucia today that there is a future for bananas. I, personally, I, I think that the banana uh, production for Martinique and Guadeloupe is very important. Uh, the banana production represents more than 70% of the total agricultural production of Martinique and more than 75% of the total employment in the agricultural field. And uh, uh, for St. Lucia, uh, or even for other islands of the Caribbean, I believe that uh, the banana production should be something very interesting, uh, economically and also socially. And socially. Thank you, Eric. It was a pleasure. Okay. And I look forward to working with you.